Greetings from India. Namaste. This is Prabhakarachari. Let us talk about Chandrasekhar Ashtakam. Chandrasekhar Ashtakam is a devotional hymn composed in praise of Lord Shiva. It consists of eight stanzas or slokas and is often recited or sung by devotees as a form of prayer and devotion. The hymn describes the various attributes and forms of Lord Shiva such as his graceful dance, his blue throat and his role as the destroyer of evil. It also praises his benevolence and his ability to bestow blessings and protection upon his devotees. Overall, Chandrasekhar Ashtakam is a beautiful and poetic expression of devotion to Lord Shiva and is, is widely revered in Hinduism. If you like, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Ashtakam is a devotional hymn composed in praise of Lord Shiva. It consists of eight stanzas or slokas and is often recited or sung by devotees as a form of prayer and devotion. The hymn describes the various attributes and forms of Lord Shiva such as his graceful dance, his blue throat and his role as the destroyer of evil. It also praises his benevolence and his ability to bestow blessings and protection upon his devotees. Overall, Chandrasekhar Ashtakam is a beautiful and poetic expression of devotion to Lord Shiva and is, is widely revered in Hinduism. Chandrasekhar Ashtakam is a devotional hymn dedicated to Lord Shiva while the perceive Benefits may vary based on personal beliefs. Many people recite this hymn for spiritual well-being, seeking blessings from Lord Shiva for peace, prosperity, and the removal of obstacles in their lives. Devotees often believe that the chanting or listening to Chandrasekhar Ashtakam with a devotion can bring about inner harmony and a sense of divine protection. It is essential to approach such practices with faith and sincerity for the fullest spiritual impact. Chandrasekhar Ashtakam is a devotional hymn composed by Sage Mark India, praising Lord Shiva specifically in his form as Chandrasekhar, the one who holds the moon on his head, comprising eight verses. This hymn beautifully encapsulates the essence of Shiva's divine attributes and significance in Hindu mythology. The hymn begins with salutations to Lord Shiva, the supreme deity, who is adorned with the crescent moon, a serpent around his neck, and the secret river Ganga flowing from his matted locks. The mention of this symbol signifies Shiva's transcendental nature and his role as a source of cosmic balance. As the verses unfold, the poet delves into the symbolic representation of Lord Shiva's various attributes. The third verse, for instance, describes Shiva as the one who wears the ashes of cremation, grounds symbolizing the transient nature of life and the ultimate reality of death. This imagery emphasizes the cyclical nature of existence where destruction paves the way for creation. Chandrasekhar Ashtakam also extols Shiva's benevolence and compassion. The fifth verse alludes to his role as the compassionate protector of his devotees, highlighting his willingness to grant boons and elevate to the sufferings of those who seek refuge in him. This aspect of Shiva resonates with the broader theme of devotion and surrender in Hindu spirituality. The seventh verse pays homage to Shiva's cosmic dance, the tanda portraying the rhythmic and dynamic nature of the universe. This dance is seen as a source of creation, preservation, and dissolution, reflecting the continuous cycle of life and the cosmos. In the concluding verse, the hymn expresses deep reverence for Lord Shiva and seeks his blessings for liberation from the cycle of birth and death. This final play underscores the spiritual aspirants yearning for self-realization and union with the divine. Chandrasekhar Ashtakam holds profound significance in the context of Shaivism. 
one of the major sects within Hinduism. Devotees uh, recite uh, this hymn with devotion and uh, reverence, fostering a sense of connection with the divine and an understanding of the profound cosmic principles embodied by Lord Shiva. In essence, Chindra Shekhar Ashtakam serves as a poetic and devotional expression of the timeless themes of creation, preservation, and dissolution as embodied by Lord Shiva in his form as Chindra Shekhara. Through its verses, this hymn invites devotees to contemplate the divine attributes of Shiva, fostering a deep spiritual connection and a sense of surrender to the cosmic forces that govern existence. Chandra Shivar Ashtakam is a devotional hymn dedicated to Lord Shiva. While the perceived benefits may vary based on personal beliefs, many people who recite this hymn for spiritual well-being, seeking blessings from Lord Shiva for peace, prosperity, and the removal of obstacles in their lives. Devotees often believe that chatting or listening to Chandra Shekhar Ashtakam with devotion can bring about inner harmony and a sense of divine protection. It is essential to approach such practices with faith and sincerity for the fullest spiritual impact. In Hindu mythology, the story of sage Markandeya and Lord Shiva is recounted in the Markandeya Purana. According to the legend, Markandeya was destined to have a short lifespan of 16 years when Yama, the god of death, came to claim Markandeya's life. The sage fervently prayed to Lord Shiva for protection. In response to Markandeya's intense devotion, Lord Shiva appeared in the form of Shivlinga inside a cosmic cave. When Yama threw his noose around Markandeya to take his life, Markandeya clung to the Shivalinga in a display of divine intervention. Lord Shiva emerged from the Linga and struck Yama with his Trishula trident, saving Markandeya from death. This episode symbolizes the power of unwavering devotion and the divine protection granted by Lord Shiva to his sincere devotees. It highlights the belief that true devotion can transcend the limitations of faith and mortality. The Chandra Shikhar Ashtakam is believed to be a powerful hymn that when recited with devotion is said to be please Lord Shiva. Devotees believe that reading or chanting this hymn with sincerity can attract the blessings of Lord Shiva, who is often considered the grantor of boons. It is believed that by reciting Chandra Shikhar Ashtakam, devotees seek the divine grace of Lord Shiva and their prayers or desires may be fulfilled as a result of this devotional practice. The hymn is seen as a means of expressing reverence and seeking divine blessings. The Garpa Mughulu, also known as Rangoli or Kolam, are intricate and colorful floor designs made using rice flour, powdered limestone, or colored powders. They are a form of traditional art in South India, particularly in the state of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka. Garpa Mughulu are created on the floor in front of houses, especially during festive and auspicious occasions, as a way to welcome guests and bring good luck. The design typically consists of geometric patterns, floral motifs, and other traditional symbols. Each region and community has its own unique style and motifs that are passed down through generations, making Gadapamugul an integral part of the cultural heritage of South India. The process of creating a Gadapamugul involves intricate and precise hand movements, with the design being drawn freehand without the use of any stencils or tools. The artist begins by drawing dots using rice floor as a base which act as a measurement guide for creating the symmetrical patterns. Then using their fingers, they connect the dots to form a series of lines and curves, resulting in a mesmerizing and elaborate design. During festivals such as Sankranti, Diwali and weddings, creating Garba Mughul is considered a sacred and auspicious tradition. It is believed that these vibrant and radiant designs not only serve as a form of decoration, but also symbolize prosperity, harmony, 
and the welcoming of positive energy into the home over oh, time the tradition of creating garbha mugulu has evolved with modern variations incorporating new motifs colors and materials while still staying true to the roots of ancient art form nowadays artists also use flower petals colored powders and even dyes oil lamps to enhance the visual appeal of their designs creating a captivating and a lively atmosphere during celebrations garba mugulu are not only a form of creative expression but also a way of preserving cultural customs and promoting community interactions the process of creating these designs often involves the entire family with each member contributing to the final masterpiece it serves as a bonding activity that brings people together and fosters a sense of unity and joy In addition to being a symbol of hospitality and spiritual significance, Garba Mugulu also showcases the artistic talents and creativity of the individuals who create them. The designs often showcase a blend of tradition and innovation as artists incorporate their own unique styles and techniques while staying true to the essence of the art form. Hey, Garba Mugulu have also gained recognition behind South India with workshops, competitions, and exhibitions dedicated to preserving and promoting this traditional art. They have become a source of inspiration for contemporary artists and designers, influencing various forms of visual arts and crafts. In a sense, traditional Garbha Mughulu are not just decorative patterns, but a deeply rooted cultural expression that embodies the richness of South Indian heritage, fostering creativity, community, and spiritual harmony. If you like, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.